What is up, people? This is Gabe from the Fortimex today. We're doing a sick video, right, Reagan? Yeah. Come on, give me some, give me some. But uh, anyways, we're in the snow. We don't have that much snow. We got like two inches, three inches. Uh, the winter here has been like straight crap. I'm really surprised how crappy it's been actually. Um, we've only had about three, four inches of snow for the whole year in like where I am at in uh, upstate New York, but uh, where Buffalo is, they've gotten like, I think 56 inches of snow already this year. So they're dialed, we're not, which is kind of a bummer, but it's whatever, I mean, what are you gonna do? But uh, I'm gonna ride just a snowmobile back into the yard, into the field, and I'm gonna meet her out with the side-by-side -side here. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. I'm gonna get some like ride shots of in the side-by-side -side and just like third person shots of uh, Reagan ripping it and possibly me ripping it too. So yeah, it's gonna be sick. Can't wait to get out there and yeah, pumps. Yeah. All right, let's get it. All righty. Your own star, let's get out. Yes, sir. Drop club. Yes, sir. right here i'm gonna get going and uh head on back and meet them up there so i grab the goggles here get going completely psyched about it let's go
little bit. Sick. That was fun. Yes. So, as I was finishing up a workout, that's why I'm dressed like this, I heard the packages come. And I was super pumped because what is inside this box is what I never thought I would ever do in my life. Um, it's actually uh, very exciting for you guys as well if you're doing some money. But uh, let me just open it up and show you guys exactly what is inside this box. Okay guys, if you haven't caught along yet, this is the stuff all over my business. Definitely not all, it's just the first shipping out of like four. Um, I have, these are the four Suzuki's I'm going to be selling. I, I have three KTM's coming, six uh, Honda's coming, and four uh, Kawasaki's coming. And I'm going to be selling them all. And so yeah, if you guys would like to buy these bikes, I would suggest going over to my website in the next two weeks. I'm going to have things ready for selling, and yeah, it should be really sick. And I'm going to say get them while they last because they're going to sell out real fast. I probably won't have any in stock for like another week once they sell out. So it's going to be $45 to $50 for one bike. Uh, and then it's going to come with all custom graphics for one bike. And you're going to be able to custom put your name on it and your number. And I'll make them and I'm going to send them out to you. So that's what these are for. I have more coming and then you'll be able to just select what bike you want. and then. This is your name and number. Once you check out, and yeah, it's be real sweet. This is without you guys, so I'm really thankful. Thank you so much, guys, for all the views and a great day for you and doing for me in this channel. So, finally opening my own little small business to sell stuff, and I'm super pumped. So, yeah, today's video. <clears throat> all righty, people. So, actually, in today's video, the whole point of today's video is, to, as you saw in the thumbnail, is to make a toy surround. Um, this is gonna be so freaking sick. I have a couple ideas on how I'm gonna do it. So first, I have a gas gas that I'm going to use to make the Suron. So yeah, I, just, I, I gotta go grab the bike and it's right downstairs or, I don't know, I've also been thinking about using this Honda right here. It's super clapped, so I think I might just use this, but I was looking at it and the parts I don't think would actually fit up all the way as what I would want for like a gas gas. So yeah, I'm just gonna grab a gas gas, use it. Um, you guys might not like me, but I'm just going to use my uh, cool um, Supercross version bike, but if not, that bike, I'll probably just buy another gas gas and whatnot, so yeah, I'll be right back and see if I can go grab that. Alright guys, so, I've got the bike right here, I'm just going to take it apart on my bed because it's kind of hard to crop, crop the camera up, so I'm just going to start taking it apart right here and show you exactly what I'm going to do step by step basically, so first... We're gonna take off back. Alright, back's off. Second, we're gonna take the front off. Now that is off. Third, take off the exhaust. Number what? Four, I think we're on? Number four is going to be go running under some water to get all that nasty dust off. I don't think you guys can see it on camera, but she is dusty from riding a lot lately, so I'll be right back. Alright, next step is to actually now color the frame. Uh, geez, uh, blacks. Right now there's red. So yeah, I'm just gonna get to work on that. Yeah, it should be good. I'm not gonna actually show you guys this part, but yeah, whatever. Okay guys, so it is actually the second day of this project. Um, it's two days later. Um, I wasn't able to get it all done in one day due to like having fun work and other stuff like that. But so I'm just gonna show you the prog progress that I've gotten done. So as before, I said I was gonna co color coat the frame and then try to figure something out to like do like a battery or whatnot. So this is what I got, this is kind of like how it's going to stay really. Um, so I color coded the frame, I put a seat cover on right here. Uh, right now, it's this is a, basically like a Ziploc bag that I cut and then I like melted it onto the frame so it actually looks really sick. Um, it's just kind of going to look like it's got like the frame and then like the battery inside of it. So it's nothing too crazy or complex but uh, all I gotta figure now is just the front end of the whole bike and just put like the steering on and the forks and that's really not gonna be the hard part, that's gonna be super easy so yeah let's just get right into it real quick.
All right, so just finished the bike here. Here it is fully completed right here. Uh, I'll probably just paint uh, your fork tubes all black and whatnot. Save the triple camp clamps this color. Uh, just try color that as well because those are garbage looking with the um, black setup with it as well. Seat covers on there. It's basically just a sticker across. Looks real well, real good. Uh, then this side right here is really chalky. I got to finish um, finishing refurbishing that side. This is what it looks like right there on the other side. But uh, yeah, try just color the rims black and then call it the quits. But uh, yeah, it works really well. Got the screw up in there for the bars. It looks real well. And I uh, don't know if I'll probably put a, a number plate on. I still got the old one right here, but uh, I'll, I'll think about it. But yeah, I'm going to show you the end product of it. An end product of it and it should be pretty sick.